What's up guys, Motorcycle Mouse. I came out, uh, we're doing a little camping trip. I brought my son with me. What are you doing there, buddy? So we're gonna, and I brought Whiskey 3 with us. Are you filming? Yeah. Tell him I said hi. Whiskey 3 says hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I said hi too. And my son says hi. Uh, but uh, anyway, we just came out and uh, we didn't go very far in because I'm still having trouble walking. His ball but we just uh, set up the hammocks. I'm testing out this new Hennessy Eno. We made a little chair and I just brought my son out to let him learn some things, I guess, and just hang out by the fire with us. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good one. Talk to you later. What's going on everybody, Motorcycle Mouse? So, uh, I'm out here camping today. I brought my son and uh, Whiskey Threes with us. Um, we just came out for a little bit of an overnighter. I'm still having a little bit of complications and just barely being able to walk really. So we're just kind of relaxing out here, taking it easy camping. This ain't exactly survival camping, but it's been pretty nice. So I wanted to show you guys the inside of this uh, hammock that I I've got now as you can see it's like a mesh a no seam mesh off to the sides here and on this side you can't see out it because I've got a the half shelter as my tarp but up here on the ridge line you can just hang stuff I've got it's got some extra clips here and you just can hang whatever on those and then I've got my uh, headlamp that I had last night and you can slide these up or, or down and then there's this um, compartment here that just holds the different things. I've just got a charger cord in it right now. And then I made this last thing. Uh, actually, my wife made it. I designed it. It looks flimsy and all, but what this is is a sleeve for my phone. And uh, I just put my phone in and I hang it up over me. And I can watch uh, movies or listen to music or whatever while I'm laying in my hammock and it doesn't fall in my face so I don't have to hold it up over my face it won't fall and hit me in the nose or anything like that so something else cool that I want to show you guys I don't know if you can see it right there but I built a chair it's just a nice little chair Jaden's sitting at say hey to my son see so yeah, I built that Pretty cool, huh? Give it a thumbs up, man. But yeah, built it. It's a no cordage chair. I saw that off of uh, another guy here on YouTube and wanted to try that out, so figured I'd try that out. Whiskey 3 still hasn't got out of his hammock. He's being lazy. I've already been up and started a fire and made my son breakfast and everything else. My son's telling him to get motivated. Alright, guys, well, we'll get back to you when I get up out of the hand me for my little nap and I'll show you around our camp show you what we're doing but we're not really doing too much like I say it's hard for me to walk around right now so whenever I get to where I can walk around a little bit and actually ride the bike again I'll do more videos but all right guys well thanks for watching all right guys so I finally got up out of bed and uh, I'm sitting in the chair that we made here's a uh, whiskey three and he's putting up his hammock his hammock's already packed up and here comes my son and his, none of his stuff's packed up. He made a mess over here and is not even clean it up. I don't know what that's all about. So here's my hammock and I'll uh, stand up out of this chair and show you the chair. Oh, I about lost the camera. Okay, so here's the uh, Hennessy Expedition. There's my sleeping bag being fluffed up. I do that every now and then. I'll leave it just hanging so that um, I'm not just always laying on it all the time because if you just lay on it all the time you'll compress the down that's in it and it'll start becoming ineffective and then you can see there's the belt that I put on it's got my knife and fire kit and ammo and all that on it so here's the the Hennessy expedition now as you can see if I well you could if I stepped back a little bit but it's kind of hung with the head end up a little bit higher than the foot in and it's hung really far apart. Uh, it turned out to be a mistake because last night I ended up 
right down here in the foot end of it uh, just kind of scrunched up down there from where it just every time I moved it would slide me down a little further so I won't do that again that chair. sit in that chair Joe. right now in the chair I've took my mat out of my uh, hammock put my little mat out of it to give me a backrest yeah you can lay on back so that's the chair Stand up and let me show them how it's made. Just move that mat. It's going to fall over when you So right now it's just kind of leaned back. But the way this works, if I move this. This main log that's going along the bottom here. These right here that are your main ones supporting it have a notch cut in them right here. And this stick right here is resting on that notch. And that keeps it from falling back. And then, so this notch right here provides leverage against this. So these are all just holding against this and this. And then the rest of them you just throw on to set on and uh, to lean back against. And it'll, it holds under your weight. So you just, you know, this mat that I always carry on the back of my pack to keep my back off the frame, it just, just holds against your weight. It's a great little chair, uses no cordage. Most of these trees were just dead around here, laying around here anyway, so really good little chair. You can sit on it and make your breakfast and stare at the fire, whatever you want to do. So it's pretty good. Didn't take too much effort, considering I can't really walk around too much. Little man like playing in a fire. Keep throwing leaves on it and lighting it back up. Show me your picture now. <laughs> He's proud of that thing. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we just come to do a quick outing or whatever. We didn't go very far in. I could probably throw a rock and hit my car. I'm having trouble walking around. So, all right. Well. Uh, as soon as I get to where I can walk again, I'm going to do more moto vlogs and more videos like this. So we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.